those people who whip around town with a baby on board bumper sticker? All right, I can't stand those, and here's why. Okay, first of all, I find it insulting. If I'm driving around minding my own business, I look at your car and I see a baby on board sticker, my first thought is you probably think I'm a bad driver and you feel the need to tell me that your child is in your vehicle with you so I'll drive safer. Long story short, I do not have a baby, but I do have a baby on board today because I have with me three bags of Auntie Anne's pretzels from the mall. What's up everyone? It's your foodie friend Hayden here, back at it again. I am feeling so good today. Good vibes all around, the sun is shining, it's 55 degrees. I'm just, I'm having a great day. And the day has just gotten better because I have next to me three pack to the brim bags of Auntie Anne's pretzels. We are doing a rank and review on all of these items so that the next time you're at the mall, you're dealing with all of the absolute nonsense that the mall has to offer. And you have got to get a little break from the chaos. You can mosey your way on over to Auntie Anne's and just indulge in the most delicious thing under the sun, pretzels. So without further ado, let's dive right into things. I have all of these pretzels sitting next to me on my left. I've got the nuggets in the cup holder. I, can life get better? Instead of a water bottle in your cup holder, I think you should start driving with a giant thing of Auntie Anne's pretzel nuggets because yeah, you're not gonna be hydrated, but your stomach is gonna be satisfied and your life is gonna be delicious. I really think it's the move. I have gone with three of the dips today. We've got the honey mustard, the hot salsa cheese sauce. Wait a minute. No, this is cheese dip. Oh, I was supposed to get the hot salsa cheese sauce and then a glaze, why? Now, as you've probably seen at your local Auntie Anne's, does every mall have an Auntie Anne's? I'm pretty sure every mall on this earth has an Auntie Anne's. They have quite the variety of pretzel nuggets. The pretzel nuggets are one of my go-to. They're fantastic, they're poppable, it's a one bite wonder, just awesomeness all around. As an Auntie Anne's frequent flyer, I know that they used to have a pizza pretzel, a whole pretzel, on the menu, but in my journey today, I have discovered that that pizza pretzel is no more and we have seemingly switched full time to the pepperoni pretzel nuggets. I do think they're gonna be even better because the nuggets I find are generally a little crispier and I like my pepperoni pieces to be very crispy and very, you know, it's got a, it's got a crunch to it. Let's try it. We're going for this one that's just right on top. The one they served me up. It's so cute, so cute. Pepperoni pizza pretzel nuggets from Auntie Anne's. Let's go. Oh my God. Holy heavens. Okay, these are fantastic. So good. Despite what I said, the pepperonis aren't that crispy, but it's still delicious. All around, I'm giving these pepperoni pizza nuggets, let's give them a 7.5 out of 10. Dipping in a pepperoni pizza nugget to our classic cheese dip. Mm-hmm, yep. Cheese takes it to the next level. That's fantastic, you've gotta invest in the cheese. But what about the hot salsa cheese? I think this is gonna be even better than the normal cheese with the pizza nuggets. Ooh. Ooh, kind of like a queso of sorts going on. I love it, what a fun idea. So let's dip in our pepperoni pizza pretzel into the hot salsa cheese dip. Oh my God, it's way, it's a lot thicker. She thick with a couple C's and maybe a Q. Shoot! 
that's the winner. Oh my god. That blows the normal cheese dip right on out of the water. Next up, we're moving into our classic pretzels. We've got a lot of flavors going on here. We're, oh my god, they're, this is thick. She's got some weight, these pretzels. Might as well start with the OG, the original salted pretzel. Oh, 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 girl, get your pretzel on. You are my favorite mall snack. <laughs> Soft pretzels and baked potatoes, I'll have you know, are the greatest things that not enough people are talking about. Let's bite right in to the original salted classic pretzel. This is, oh my God. 10 out of 10. This is the best soft pretzel in the world. It tastes, oh, amazing. And then when you get to that little crispy, doughy center part, the texture is perfect, the taste is perfect. We do need to crack into the dips with this glorious beauty. So let's do that. First off, a new dip, honey mustard. I think honey mustard with this pretzel is going to be phenomenal. It's just, it's gonna taste out of this world. It already tastes out of this world. So here's our dipping stick. Cracking in to the honey mustard with the original pretzel. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Holy heavens. You all thought the original pretzel was good before? It's 10 times better now and it already was a 10. How about with some hot salsa cheese dip? Phenomenal, again. Yep, that's a sh And with our normal cheese dip. Oh, she droopy. Yep, the original salted pretzel has range, you all. Next up from the bag, oh my god, this is huge. We have the cinnamon, oh this is gonna be a mess. We've got the cinnamon sugar pretzel. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take this whole thing out and show you all. We're asking for a mess. Oh, oh, there's gonna be cinnamon in places where cinnamon shouldn't be. Oh. Oh my God. In the wise words of Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana, excuse me, Miley Stewart, sweet niblets, this is good. This is also a 10 out of 10. This is to die for. Auntie Ed's, this is just incredible. This is what I want for my cinnamon sugar pretzel. There are some places that are saying cinnamon sugar pretzel and they give you the lightest dusting of cinnamon sugar you've ever seen in your life. This sucker is absolutely coated in cinnamon. You couldn't get more cinnamon on here if you tried. Yep, fantastic. Next, move out of the way garlic bread. You've got some competition coming along here. A pretzel beauty. This is the roasted garlic and Parmesan pretzel. Be prepared to be amazed. This is also gonna be a messy disaster. Be prepared to be amazed. Holy cannoli. Roasted garlic and Parmesan. This is gonna be a whole different playing field than that sweet sh <laughs> Roasted garlic and Parmesan pretzel. Let's dive right in. We can't wait any longer. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. All right. It's definitely, there's Parmesan cheese everywhere. It's not my favorite that I've had today. And I do, I will take back what I said. Garlic bread, you can come back into the picture because the garlic and the Parmesan mixture I do think belongs on bread. There's just something that's a little off to me 
as I taste another bite. Yeah, not my favorite. Would I get it again? Probably not. I'd have to be in a really specific mood to get it. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. It's the middle of the pack. I do think it'll be elevated though with some of these sauces. Let's try it. In the honey mustard? Would a roasted garlic and Parmesan pretzel be good in honey mustard? Maybe. Guess we'll see. Garlic. I think it just went down my shirt. Ooh. Really good with the honey mustard. Delicious. That takes it up a notch. Hot salsa cheese. Anything is good with the hot salsa cheese. But oddly enough, I think I like that flavor combination better with the honey mustard. And regular cheese. Yeah. Yep, good. So yeah, overall, wouldn't get it again on its own. If you're getting it, I do think you need to have some sort of sauce. Five out of 10 on its own though. Moving on. We have made it to our final pretzel of the day, and that is our sweet almond pretzel. So let's pull it on out of the bag. Oh, mm, I have high hopes. Check it out, I have very high hopes. Can we just take a minute and appreciate how much almond is covering this pretzel? Auntie Anne's, they're not skimming ya. Skimping ya? Skimping? Is, is it skimping? They're not skimping ya, they're not skimming you. Skimping. Scamping? I don't know, they're not skimping ya though on the almond or any of their toppings for that matter. Let's try it, sweet almond. Oh my God. Not heaven. It's really good, huh, Janelle? Is that busting, Janelle? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Believe it or not, I think this might be my favorite of the day. The almond. I don't know how to describe it, but the way that these crunchy almond niblets add on so much to the texture of the sweet dough. Wow. This is another one that's out of 10. That's phenomenal. If I ever hit the lottery, I don't wanna go on the vacation. I don't wanna buy a fancy private jet. I don't need clothes, I don't need shoes. I need Auntie Anne's pretzels. The second I hit the lottery, I'm investing in, an, in a personal Auntie Anne's for my backyard. Auntie Anne's I love you. We have made it to the end of all of these pretzels. And believe it or not, I have a very easy, quick, right in my head ranking ready to roll. First place, sweet almond pretzel. Second place, original salted pretzel. Third place, cinnamon sugar pretzel. Fourth place, pepperoni pretzel nugget bites. Pretzel nugget bites, pepperoni pretzel nuggets. And fifth place, roasted garlic and Parmesan pretzel. All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely stop by Auntie Anne's the next time you're in the mall. I've had a great time trying all these pretzels today. I hope you all had a wonderful time watching it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. You can even share the link to this video with a friend who would maybe be inspired to hit the mall and go get some Auntie Anne's pretzels because of this. See you all in the next one. Deuces and smooches. Bye.